What's up guys? So this is part two. We're gonna be talking about Super Saiyan 4 Goku of on Dragon Ball Super Hero. So is he the the question again is Dragon is Super Saiyan 4 actually really that strong? And the question the answer is basically yes, he's really that strong. Now this this Super Saiyan 4 Goku I think they kind of make him out to be like he's not that strong, especially even at Limit Breaker. We're even going to talk about that too. But even at Limit Breaker, they make him out to be like he's not that strong. I mean, when he first gets Limit Breaker, they make him out to be like more powerful than even probably Ultra Instinct. But then all of a sudden, he's not stronger than Ultra Instinct Master or something like that. So we're going to talk about, I guess. I guess there's really like two stages to superhero because I've never really watched much of it, but I do know, you know, the forms and what's going on a little bit here and there. But well, Super Saiyan 4, just Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he takes on Super Saiyan Blue uh, Goku, uh, one of the Super Saiyan Blue Gokus, and he gives him a run for his money. So if we're going to really do... That, this meaning, Super Saiyan 4, Xeno Goku, or J Super Saiyan 4 Goku Superhero, whatever you want to call him, he is stronger than Super Saiyan Blue if he can even, if he can even, you know, hold his own against Super Saiyan Blue. That means he's definitely stronger than Super Saiyan Blue. Now, Super Saiyan Blue, I mean, Super Saiyan 4... Limit Breaker is what it's called. I was surprised they didn't put this in GT or something because I think I'll explain this a little bit in my next one if I can figure out what the Dragon Ball is called. I think it's called ASF, but I'll figure that out in just a minute. But, um, see, this is a, this Super Saiyan Limit Breaker is a combination of, I think, a couple Super Saiyans and a, and a, like, I think, uh, Two Saiyans, two Super Saiyan Gods, or a Super Saiyan, no, two Super Saiyan Blues and a Super Saiyan God. It's Trunks, Goku, and Vegeta, and I think Pan and somebody else. It's a big combination, but they have higher forms than Super Saiyan 4. Well, is what everybody says. But I think Limit Breaker is really strong. We're not going to talk about Gogeta or any of that mess. We're just talking about Super Saiyan 4 Goku. We're not even going to talk about Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta or anything. If y'all want me to uh, get into that, then I'll make another separate thing. This is part two. This is about Superhero or Xeno or whatever you want to call it. So, big picture is that Super Saiyan 4 is really strong and I feel like it's... Honestly, I think people see it as not much stronger than GT Goku, or maybe it's at the same strength as what some people say, and that Goku really just wasn't showing his fullest in GT or something like that. But, honestly, I don't know, because this is like a different world, or a different time, or something like that, uh, Goku... Like, it's not even GT Goku, it's like Xeno Goku, or is what he's called. So, I mean, I don't know what, it's hard to, I don't know too much about this, I just know that he's really, really strong compared to GT Goku. Even though they're both Super Saiyan 4, which I'm getting, the, the point is, Super Saiyan 4 is really stronger than, oh, sorry. Super Saiyan 4 Goku is stronger than people think or than y'all want to make it out to be. A lot of people are just like, well, Super Saiyan 4 is not as strong as Super Saiyan Blue because Super Saiyan Blue is a guy. And I'll get into that kind of in my last video of what I think about that little uh, contradiction or whatever you want to call it. Honestly, I think that that's wrong. I'm going to give you a little bonus, I guess. Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan God are trying to imitate gods, whereas Super Saiyan 4 is actually a form of the true power of Saiyans. It's actually their lineage. Lineage. Lineage? Whatever you want to say. Lineage. 
whatever. I can't say it right. My bad. I'm sorry for doing that. But it's their Sam, you know, race. Like, it's their entire thing. Like, Super Saiyan is their power. Trying to imitate a god is, that's, that's why, honestly, Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan God are not as strong as the people believe it out to be. It's because it's trying to imitate a god where Super Saiyan 4 is actually, you know, the power of a Saiyan. It's not, you know, this god-like power or whatever, or trying to pretend to be a god or anything like that. It's actually the true power of a Super or a Saiyan. So that's what I wanted to say there, and I'll probably say that in uh, one of the other videos. This video probably won't be too long because I don't have too much to say about this. And, well, there's not much to say about this. So, But Super Saiyan 4, big picture, it's really strong. I feel like it's stronger here, but it's like, it's like they show it as not, like it's weak and it's not much more powerful than GT Goku. I don't understand it. I, I'm going to try and get into this if I can, but it's hard to find when it's in Japanese and all that. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to make part three. So, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.